Yes, what was your question? Um, if, you're, if a person is having symptoms of a stroke, what are the preventative measures in order to prevent a stroke? Go to the hospital immediately, the okay. emergency room. I mean, are there things, Chris, are there things we can eat or do to, to keep from a stroke happening? There, there's not a specific food to prevent stroke necessarily, but whole foods, foods from the earth promote health in the body. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, I'm wondering, what was your diet like before your stroke? I mean, you were a normal it teenager. It wasn't very healthy. I worked full-time, went to school full-time, so it was, I ate on the go. I guess my one other thing would be if you can tolerate aspirin, take an aspirin, and that's a natural blood thinner. But again, you want to consult your doctor and... Yes, thank you for the disclaimer. Check with your doctor before doing anything. Yes. Hi, Doro, Ricky. Hi I'm good. Uh, that's great to hear. Um, <laughs> I just want to say more so that you guys inspired me because I had some fried chicken on the way over here. <laughs> and, um, no. Was it good? Was it good? Delicioso. <laughs> um, what can I do to detox those? I really want to... How do, you, how do you do you have any detox recipes? Yeah. <laughs> I said, Chris, when's your book coming out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and can I get a copy? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the book will be out when the right opportunity comes up. But, uh, but it, yeah, I mean, look, an easy thing that anyone can do is do a raw food fast for a week. It's I'm not gonna miss hard. the gravy though, Chris. I'm sorry, I'm gonna miss the gravy. Hey, you're you're a big man, right? Oh, you no, can, no, you I'm can handle it. You can handle it for a week, <laughs> right? Anybody, I, I think everyone here probably has enough self-discipline to do something for a week, and that's a great way to detox your body. Just eating raw foods for a week. Okay. It's it's so simple. Fruits and vegetables, do some juicing, and um, you'll nuts? be amazed nuts? how good you feel. What about nuts? Yeah, eat some nuts, absolutely. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Can I ask you also, I know you're not a doctor, Chris, but I feel like you know everything. Well, um, <laughs> how, how do you feel about colonics? Uh, I had a colonic uh, about a month ago, so yeah. You're I feel, a fan. Feel good about them. Yeah, okay. absolutely. They, they, you know, they help clean out your colon, help you detox. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, yes, Chris. I was wondering if you've considered teaching classes on preparing raw food. You know, um, I, it's funny. I, I do teach classes on nutrition and health, and and do some uh, you know cancer coaching. But I'm not a big foodie. Like as far as raw food prep goes, there's some amazing raw food chefs out there, especially in LA. I mean, they're everywhere. Um, I just eat the same thing every day. I'm kind of boring. I eat a giant salad, make my fruit smoothie, and do some juicing. So I would not be a great guy to teach a raw food class because I just keep it simple. I think that's the main. Um, the main thing that helped me the most was not trying to overcomplicate it. I just found what I could eat every day, and I just ate that every single day, every single day. Well, I thank you so much for being here, both of you, all of our guests. Amazing stories, amazing stories of survival. I hope the amazing stories on today's show prove that you hold the power when it comes to your health. For more information on Chris's anti-cancer diet, transcendental meditation, or Kevin Sorbo's book, check out therickylakeshow.com, and check out Kevin's new movie, Abel's Field. Thank you so much to all our guests and thank you for watching. See you next time.